<clears throat> Hello, how are you? Um, today is another day. We want to learn the most, one of the most important principles of playing the keyboard. And this is finding the key of the song that is being played by someone. So, for example, if someone says, King of Zion, we worship you. You need to find where they're playing. Because if you just go on F sharp, we've only learned the chord of F sharp. But we are able to play almost any song with the same chord of F sharp if we transpose from one key to the other. Otherwise, we need to learn 12 times 3 uh, chords, which is about 36 maybe less because some of them are repeated across different chords but anyway uh that will take a long time so if you want to quickly play in church as long as you've got a keyboard that can transpose uh, there's a transpose bar button on here it depends on your model and type of uh, keyboard you've got look into your manual or go online to find out how to do the transpose but as for you kids i think i will individually call your um your parents and then I can talk to them about it and discover how you can transpose it's very very important especially when you're playing in church so we're going to do that um, I'm going to do this lesson about transposing and then I also give you a lesson about um, a song you know progression for a song that you'll be practicing the whole week and then I will give you links where you can actually play a video uh, on YouTube and you play along you find the key that they are playing in and then you you can play along uh, there's a lot of players today who are very good at playing keyboard but they struggle with transposing so it's a very very important that you know this and it's usually by ear a lot of people play keyboard or piano because they've got a music uh, sheet in front of them that tells them what key they are playing and what you know so so if you're on f sharp you, you know but someone is saying king of zion we worship you so this is king of zion we worship you it does not match so king king of zion we worship you that's the correct key there That's the correct key there, which is um, A sharp. Um, yeah, so, but you, we have only learned F sharp, so you don't know how to play in A sharp. So what you do, you transpose. So you count how many times from here, from F sharp. One, two, three, four. So it's plus four. So you press on your transpose, and then you put the number four there, plus four. You can go to the negative as well, negative 12, all the way to positive 12 so um, minus 12 to plus 12 so in the right now I put it on 4 so you can see now the A sharp that was there we've moved it down to to F sharp so King of Zion we worship you So that's basically uh, how you transpose. So you need to listen to the ear. So if I change the voice and say, King of Zion, we worship you. King of Zion, we worship you. Which is plus two. So if you add plus two on there. King of Zion, we worship you. Okay, that's the transpose. So, um, what this basically means is 
if it's on zero zero, your F sharp will be right. So it's a scale like do di do di la so fa mi re do. So it's a scale of you know these keys. Do re mi fa fa. This keys not playing. So do di do. Right, but however, there are also keys that are in between these standard major you know scale. They sound like in total there'll be twelve, right? Because these are seven, the major scales there'll be seven, but the minor in between there'll be about five or so. So it will add up to twelve. So but don't worry about the concept you learn after you've understood this, then you can learn the the, 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 the theory part of things, right? I was talking to one of the parents of uh, the advantages of playing as a is a someone who plays by ear and someone who plays by notes yeah there's a lady called ramirez she's got some videos on youtube she was saying you rather know both and the person who learns plays by ear is better because they are they think outside the box so if you if you learn by music sheet or notes or like a music sheet of paper which gives you instructions you're like in a box so you always if the paper is taken away, you can't do anything. But if you learn by ear, you can play anything. So, and those who play as well, they need a sheet of paper. They need to study it and all the keys before they can play. But I, having learned to play by ear, I can listen to music and I can hear and I can actually start playing that music straight away. Okay, so, so I want you to practice with the five links I'm going to send to you. I want you to practice how to find the key. So, if someone says, King of Zion, we worship you. Two. So you add plus two there, two, then you go. Now you go the you go the key. Now we say, King of Zion, we worship you. I've changed the key, right? King of Zion. Ah. So you just hum. Ah. So find a key that hums like ah. this one. Right, which is going to the left, one, two, three, to the left, which is negative. So going to the right is positive, going to the left is negative. So you go negative three, one, two, three. So go on F sharp is now in key. King of Zion, we worship you. That's it. So that's how you 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 um you 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 master. So you try to do this is more often. Just play a song on YouTube, find the key, play along. Play a song on you find the key. You know, get it. You know, you might not know the cause, the progression, but at least if you can, the starting point, you can just go in tune and you know you're good. Practice that again and again, so that when you go to church, someone starts singing, you can pick their voice and you start playing. Very very important. Okay, have a blessed week and enjoy. Now, uh, now I'm going to give you a lesson on the song we are going to be practicing the whole week. And um, this song is going to be King of Zion, We Worship You, the one that I've just used on the previous uh, uh, tutorial. So I'll do this on F sharp, not transposed, right? <laughs> you
So eight counts of the first chord, which is F sharp, and then two counts of the second chord, right? Then you go back two counts of the first chord, then two counts of the third chord, and then two counts of the first chord again. Then you wait for the cycle to finish, then you start again. Key, two, three, up to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. You reign, one, two, you forever, one, two. Tempo for this. Let's put a better style. Uh, probably 24 usually. 16 bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, 35. Okay. Then. King of Zion. We worship you, you reign forever, oh mighty God, King of Zion. Okay, right, so, so you count your counts, and then you put your drum, and then you can practice. I will run along again, and I will show you the chords on the screen that will be showing down here on the screen, which keys to press. And then you can um, you can learn from there. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Key to Zion. We. this progression there's ways especially songs like this they need to sound better well, I'm just playing you the basic elements like F sharp B and F sharp C sharp basic elements of that that's what I'm playing to you there is ways you can make it sound sweeter but we'll do those chords later so I want you to listen the difference then I know you're itching to learn this but if you already know I'll tell you, we play D sharp with the beginning, like King of Zion, D sharp. We worship you, King of Zion. We worship you. So D sharp and F sharp sound the same. Instead of going on your bass side, instead of going on F sharp, you go on um, on uh, on uh, on A sharp. Forever. Can you hear this? Forever. Oh mighty God. Instead of going all the way, so you go. King of Zion. King of Zion. D sharp. We 